What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we are talking indicators and today I'm really excited because we're talking about one of my favorite indicators that I use every single day for pretty much every single trade. It's all coming up right now. All right guys, so today we're talking about the TTM squeeze indicator. This is my by far one of my favorite indicators that I've discovered throughout my day trading journey. It is this little guy right down here at the bottom that you see, uh, you know, right down here, right below our charts, right below our volume chart. So this indicator can be added just like any other indicator. Um, you don't need to go find it on the web or anything like that. It's just built right into Thinkorswim and it's probably built into a lot of other platforms. I've heard that from other traders, but um, you just go ahead and click up here, go to edit studies and just click right here and type TTM. Boom, there it is, TTM squeeze. You just add that. And then the way I've got this set up, just so you guys know, in case there's any questions, I've got price set to close. I've got length set to 20. I've got uh, NK set to 1.5 and this one over here to 2.0. So, um, and then I've got histogram and then I've got show plot, show bubble and show title. So, um, and that's it. Pretty simple, not real hard to figure out. These guys are all set this way and squeeze alert right here. Boom. So you guys can figure that out um and uh, and apply it to your charts okay so let's talk about how to actually use this indicator because this is the cool part all right so the ttm squeeze what this is is a momentum indicator kind of like the volume weighted average price the vwap that we have right here this purple line now the ttm squeeze measures both um buying and selling pressure and it's also measuring that on whatever time frame you're on. So right now I'm on a one minute chart here. And if I was to jump out to a five minute chart, you would also see, if I was to jump out to this five minute chart, you'd also see the build up here on the bottom. So let's go ahead and talk about what these colors are and what they mean and how it shows momentum, how it shows that we could be looking at entering or, enter or exiting a trade. One of the things I really like about this indicator is it's really great to find big breakout moves, big swing moves, especially in the morning. Now, the accuracy that I see the most with this is in the earlier hours of the day or at the very last part of the day during power hour. Um, that's typically when we have a lot more opportunities to take swings in both the power hour and in the, in the open. And this, this guy is really accurate for that. And that's one thing, one reason I really love about this indicator. So if we go down here to the bottom, we see the, uh, we see these red, we see the yellow, we see the cyan here and we see the dark blue. So the, if we were to scroll over this and get a little bit bigger here. Um, so when, when we start to see a sell off, that's when we start to see these red candles for, or these, you know, I guess they, they would be candles down here on the TTM. And you can see that the first, we had the first red one and then we have the second red one. It's a little bit bigger. And if you hover over it, you can actually see, um, down here, we've got negative 0 0.4, 0 0.4. Um, and then we go over it again and we've got 2.4 and then we've go over it again and we got 4.7. So we can see that the, the momentum is stacking against itself and pushing that sales price down uh, in the red. And then we start to see the breakout begin to happen and the consolidation begin to happen when we see this red switch over to yellow. This is a great way to confirm consolidation. Um, and that's, that's one reason why I really, really like about this because it helps me um, it helps prevent me from getting involved in like false breakouts and things like that. So, um, so really kind of, even though the chart pattern might be showing that, Hey, it looks like it might rip. Um, you know, when I often check this against the TCM because even though sometimes I'll see the chart pattern going up, looking like it's going to rip, I'll see the TCM actually dropping. And then that really, really helps prevent me taking trades that uh, that end up being false breakouts. So I really, really like this for that. Um, so we can see that it starts to switch right here from this red to the yellow. And if we look over right on this number right here, you can see um, that, uh, that that's where we're measuring these numbers here. So what I like to do is I like to look at numbers that are stacking up typically by a factor of four. So 
I see this here as negative nine, and then I see negative seven. If I can get over it there, we got negative nine, negative seven, and then we go to the next one, negative three. So there's that factor of four. This is where I'd be curious as to start getting, to, to really taking this trade seriously is right about at this point right here. Then in our next one, we see it switch to, to 0 0.7. So it's basically right there, right on that breakout point. And then even though this is a, this last one was a red candle here, um, you can see that we're switching to the cyan. The cyan is this is a very strong indicator that we're going to see a push up in price. So this particularly right here would, would be a really good entry point that or this candle here. Um, I like to see two to three candles of cyan before I actually get involved in a trade. Um, when utilizing this indicator, but obviously I'm looking at other factors such as where, you know, is it below the view app, above the view app? And I'll get into those things in a, in a different video, but I really want to focus just on this TTM squeeze indicator. Um, so right here we see it go to 2.3 and then we go to 7.7. .7. That right there, so we've broken past that factor of four, now we've got a factor of five, and that, that right there shows a really big indication that we're gonna see a big push up in price. And so and we continue to see the price push up. We see a little bit of pullback here, but on this pullback, I would not be worried. And the reason why I would not be worried is because you can see that we're maintaining this cyan um, momentum. And you can see that we're still even pushing up a little bit. Uh, so we got 22, 23, and then we start to have this, this pullback here to the volume added average price. This is a really great setup. And uh, so this is often called the VWAP bounce. Shout out to beginner trading because uh, you know that, that's definitely one of his signature moves. And I love it. Uh, I use it all the time in my trading. But this right here, this setup where we see this kind of this five minute pullback here, um, and we see that the volume kind of stayed steady. You can see that utilizing this TTM, we'd be able to take. You know, we could have taken the trade here, or we could also take the trade here, or both. And so, um, so we're seeing it kind of stack up and then we see that cyan rip back above to the dark blue. And this would have been a great entry point right here as well. It's 475 up to five bucks. Um, so this, this indicator is a really, really powerful indicator. And then we also see when it hit that resistance at that $5 mark, we see on the TTM, we can see the momentum beginning to fade as it switches to the dark blue. So to make everything as clear in terms of the colors, red is downward pressure. Yellow is where that begins to consolidate and we get begin to see a little bit of buying pressure come in. Cyan is where the buying pressure comes in. We start to see the momentum push the price up. Dark blue is when we see kind of a cooling off period. It doesn't necessarily mean a sell off is coming, but it is an indicator that a sell off may happen. And we see that right here when it hit this resistance of five bucks. And then we see that sell off happen. And now we can see it uh, go from that dark blue and we can see it switch to the red. And then we can see it begin to push downward. We had a little bit of consolidation here and spent a lot of time on this consolidation. And I don't think this one actually even comes back. We do see a little bit of a comeback here, but as we can see, it's below the volume when it average price. This isn't a trade that I'd be interested in getting involved in, um, even though we did see it move on the TTM. So typically the way that I like to use this is I like to use this when it's breaking through the volume weighted average price or it's already above the volume weighted average price. And that's when I like to utilize this TTM squeeze indicator, one of the most powerful indicators I've used to make really big, really big swings. Some of the biggest trades that I've gotten involved with have used this TTM squeeze indicator. And another great way that you can use this is on the five minute chart. We go out here. The five minute chart is a great way to see this momentum kind of stacking up sometimes even before we see the squeeze happen on the one minute chart. And you can see that when we, when we break out here into the, uh, when we go out here into the pre-market, we see the cyan begin to happen and we can actually see that consolidation and that buildup of momentum happening right here. So this actually gives you the opportunity to get involved in trades kind of early as well. So we could have even gotten in 
using the TTM squeeze on a five minute chart, we could have even gotten in right here at this entrance over VWAP because we're seeing this TTM squeeze kind of build up this momentum here. And once we saw this um, right here, once we saw this switch over to Cyan right there, that would have been a great entry point right there. And we could have ran that all the way up to that $5 resistance mark. So this is the TTM squeeze. As you can see, I got other indicators going on here. And these other indicators are things that I use each and every day. Uh, if you guys would like to hear more about or watch, see more videos about which indicators I use and why, um, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment on this video. Let me know what type of indicators you're using. Let me know if you got value out of this. Let me know if you guys have a cool new dog whatever you guys want to talk about in the comments i would love to hear it i'd love to hear from you guys like subscribe thank you so much for watching and i look forward to see you guys in another video peace